All right, all right. Welcome everyone to Lennox Penic channel. And for those parents who want to contact me, here is my WhatsApp number, 876-549-2161. Let's get right into it. Now, this is the grade five Mac mathematics performance task. And the year was 2019. All right, so let's get right into it. If you have not subscribed, you know what to do. Uh, Person, you know, just do it. All right, all right. So let's go, guys. Um, let's go look at the instructions, and I think this is really challenging for grade five. I think this is really challenging for any level to be from unless you're a mathematician. All right. So general instruction: read the statement carefully before attempting to solve the problems. Make sure you show how you arrive at your answer on this on the space provided. Complete the task in part one. All right, and I say you're planning a party, and it says, imagine that your class wants to throw a summer class party. This party is going to take a lot of planning and the budgeting of the school's money. Your teacher, along with the principal of your school, has allotted $15,000 for the class to spend on the party. And they go on to say, you may have to tweak the guest list in order for your class to be able to afford it. Follow the steps below to figure out whether or not you can afford a party. And I can tell you from reading that, you would have lost 80% of the grade five students. So I don't know what's really happening. Who are the person setting this? All right, so let's go. They said that now the dance floor should be 12 meters long. Your classroom has an area of 150 meters square. The class would like to put the dance floor in the area. The table below shows the space required for the party. All right, so they go on and they say, you no, know, for the, let me just go back up so you guys can see. So they say, this is for the dance floor, and we have space required for the dance floor in meters squared. So part one, on the grid, draw a line to outline the dance floor and your classroom that the party will be held in. Be sure to label each section and include the dimension. Each box on the grid represents one square meter. Again, I think they would have lost 90% by now, so only 10%. But well, it's few students who will be going to campaign and so forth. I don't know why it is so challenging. Um, I think that personally it's here they really testing, but with so much reading and big rig I mean they're gonna lose many students. Not saying it's their fault, but I don't think students are at that level. All right, so it's because of the reading. I think if you ask students to find the area and so forth, they can figure it out. Or set up problem solving when it involves so much rigmarole. All right, so it says, on the grid, draw an outline of the dance floor and your classroom. So let us draw the, we're gonna use blue first to draw the dance floor first. Now they said that the dance floor, let's go back up to the information. So they said that the dance floor should be 12 meters long, all right? So we're going to do 12. So we're going to count 12 across. So one. No, I don't want to use black. It's already in black, so I kind of want to get different color. Maybe something brighter. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now they said that it must be twelve meter long. All right. Let us see what other information they give us. And guys, this is all I wanted to do it piece by piece. Don't rush into the work. Do it piece by piece. Read it very carefully. Read it ten times if you have to. All right. So it says that the dance floor should be 12 meters long. 
your classroom as an area of 150. So we need to figure out the classroom now. Um, and the dimension should be 150 meters square. And they did give us another piece of information. They told us that the dance floor should be 60 meters square. And I think they should have given you guys this in words. Most students will not realize that it's that. So you have the dance floor for the party and then you have the space required, which is 60 meters square. So they gave us the length to be 12. So ask yourself you now, what times 12 can give you 60? Because they already told you the length, so you have to figure out the width. What times 12 give you 60? Or you can say 60 divided by 12 give you what? Right, and that would be five for both. So basically, the dance floor is 12 by five. Again, most students will know to find the width, but they will not know how to interpret it. So teachers, you have a great task on your hands to prepare these kids. All right, so we draw that. It said that length should be 12. So let us put in the five now. Again, this is each is one meter. So you say one, two, three, four, five. So guys, I'm putting the dancer at the edge. They didn't say I have to put it in the middle. I think this is much more easier to put it at the end. All right, so you have the dancer at the end. You can put it anywhere on the grid, anywhere you want, as long as it is 12 by 5. But I am thinking that it is easier to figure it out. Now, remember, the dance floor is a part of the room, and they told us up here that it is the room is 150 meters square. See this little information here? This is the area, all right? So we are gonna determine the room. For many students, it will be different. Personally, as a mathematician, I'm thinking that it lent us to be more than 12. That's the first thing, because if the, if the dance floor is 12, it should have to be at least 12. So I'm thinking now 15, I'm gonna make it 15 by 10. Why? That is much easier than to say 12 by whatever, to give you 150. Don't complicate it, right? I think that's the concept that they want to bring out to see if students are thinking critically. So I'm gonna do it 15 by 10, but I'm gonna change the color just to, you know, differentiate um, the different parts, All right? So I'm gonna put it in red. So let's go back down to the grid. Again, students, you will have to read it very carefully. If you're not sure, you can actually ask them to explain it to you. So them say you don't know. Maybe somebody read it to you. All right, use up that option. All right, so we are at 12. Coming from here, we are at 12. So this will be 13, 14, 15. So this is the entire um, length of the class from here to here. And then we go down 10. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this is going to give us a total measurement of ten by five, ten by fifteen by ten, rather. And that will give us an area. So this is a classroom. So let me just put in the measurement. So much things you guys have to do. Parents, allow your child to join my class from um, now. The exam is in February. School fee is very cheap, so do it. Do it for the kids, all right? So this would be everything now. The classroom would be 15 by 10, and the dance floor. So what you can do is to label it. So I'm going to label it for you guys. Remember, guys, I cannot go to the exam with you. But I can teach you how to do this, all right? So let your parents call that number and get started right away. So this is the dance floor. And it's 12 by 
five, and that's a, as an area of sixty meters square. And this would be the entire classroom, and that as an area of one fifty centimeter meters square. Rather. It's meters. Sorry. Sometimes I'm so used to the centimeters. I said that. All right. So that is our first task. Um, I think that you guys will have to join in another video. Let me see some here. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. So this is the section that they ask. So they ask the length in meters of the classroom. Okay. And remember, we had said that it was 15. So we can put in this information as 15. The dance floor, which is 12, this was actually given. The width of the classroom was what? 10. And the dance floor was 5. As a member, the area should be 60. All right, so let's go again now. It says now the perimeter. Now the perimeter of the classroom. Let us look at the perimeter of the classroom. And so I want you guys to join my class here, guys. The perimeter is the total distance around. So it would be the 15, then you go so, you get 10, another 15 meters, another 10 meters. So let us add that and we can get the total for the classroom. So it is 15 plus 15, 10, Plus 10. And we add this, and this will give us the perimeter or the number of square units, the number of um, the total length around. All right, so that's 30, 40, 50. So that's 50. Well, let us just check for the floor, the dance floor. It is 12. Here, so it will be 12 also. Remember, right here is 5. So that's 5 plus 5. Let's go. So it's 5 plus 5 and 12 plus 12. And then we can just fill that. So 2, 1, 2, 4, and 5. All right. So let's do it easier. It's 10 plus 24, which is 34. All right. So that's 34 and 50. So let us put in that information. All right, so this was what? 50, and this was 34. All right, guys, so part two, I'm not gonna do part two, so you guys are gonna actually hit the like button, and you guys are gonna subscribe, and then I do part two whenever this reach to 200 likes, all right? This is an explanatory amount, no doubt. Let's just look at part two. It says every, every party, needs guests, your classmates, teachers, and principal will be the guests at this party. Use the table below to plan the guest list. And as you can see, it's very challenging. So guys, hit the like button, share it with other students so that I can do part two. So that's many, it's about, no doubt. See you guys in another video.